Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. I am your host, Steam Congenial here. I don't even know what congenial means. It's just fun to say. And uh, I just thought it would be funny to say, a yo, fuck Banjo Kazooie. I'm talking about the first game. Fuck that game. That game sucks. <laughs> Alright, I don't care what Josh Jepson says. I don't care what my sibling says. Banjo Tooie is the superior banjo game, bro. Banjo Kazooie is fucking nothing, bro. Like, when I realized in that game all you're doing is collecting shit, I'm just like, this fucking sucks, bro. Like, there's not even a boss or anything, you know? It's like, there's no genuine replayability. Like, it's just, like, it's just boring, you know? Like, I don't care about that shit. Like, Banjo Tooie is fucking phenomenal. And this is, like, on a Nintendo 64, like, same format as Banjo Kazooie, like, I'm sorry, you know, like, I wonder how many people I'm gonna piss off saying that. But it's like, you gotta understand, like, being born in 1997, like, I didn't necessarily experience Banjo-Kazooie, like, when it came out as a kid, I was born, like, literally the year after. So, Banjo-Kazooie at that point was looked at as kind of old, believe it or not, like, two years later, you know, like, I started having my first conscious memories in like 2000, 2001, and it's like, yeah, at that point, like, Banjo-Tooie was the newest game on the market, so it's like, I, I naturally, I remember playing that game more than Banjo-Kazooie, because Banjo-Kazooie came out a year after I was born. Uh, nobody ever thought to, like, you know, introduce me to the game as a young kid, I mean, but at the same time, it's like, I just never knew what to do in that game. Like, this game, like, I feel like I know almost everything, even though I had to look up a guide several times for some shit, but I'm happy I can kind of just get straight into it. I'll probably, I'll probably up upload an episode tomorrow. Uh, now that uh, I don't have any new episodes, like, pre-recorded, like, I think I have, like, maybe one more episode. I'm gonna have to be smarter about how I release this, uh, release this stuff, because I, yeah, I literally don't, I don't have any more episodes recorded, so... It's probably gonna be every other day. Well, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're heading for the recycling plant, buddy. So here we are back at it again, dealing with Weldar. We actually fucked this up last time, and we're gonna have to just do it again. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, we just fucked it up. Uh, Weldar just sucked us dry in a completely non-sexual way. I should clarify that that was, in fact, non-sexual. As a matter of fact, non-consensual, even. I mean, what the fuck is your problem, Weldar? Oh, penis. We're taking it back to the old Attacking Toucans Let's Play format. I might as well just die and restart this entire battle over again, because I'm very upset at the moment that uh, this is how it's going. So I'm just going to restart the whole battle. Yeah, just kill me. I am not satisfied. Go fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, man. Fuck yourself, damn it. I want you to fuck yourself, fuck yourself. Currently April 3rd, 2023, at the approximate time of 1044 in the morning. We are out here. Playing Banjo-Tooie, not on an emulator, but on the actual Nintendo 64 hardware. And once I finish this Let's Play, I am moving this Nintendo 64 back down into my basement to join the retro game collection that I have currently forming down there. Because I do not have room for this Nintendo 64 to stay up here. Uh, and it's, it's quite annoying at the moment. You know, I'll probably just start... Probably go back to the Conker's Bad Fur Day of, like, you know, doing this shit on the emulator and stuff. Even though that shit, like, failed horribly, but it's like, now I have trustworthy emulators. Like, I was also doing all that shit off of my Mac. And, like, that was the first Let's Play I ever did. Fuck! So I was really trying to figure out the ropes in a lot of ways of, like, how to, like... You know, let's play and stuff.
I'm really- I'm not doing a good job right now. I honestly hate wearing glasses and being fucking blind, dude. Like, sometimes the glasses just don't hit the face right, and it's just annoying. Whoops. So a typical strategy I like to do, just to kind of like, know like, oh, when is this going to be over? Is using Kazooie and then just kind of like, you know, after three tries, you're done. And we're going to switch to Fire Eggs. Bro. Dude, how do I already have this low of health? He's just too fast. Like what like later on he just becomes too fast. Holy shit, he actually almost got me. I hope I can do this right here, man. I hate it when shit takes so fucking long to get done. Like it's actually infuriating. I would quit let's playing altogether if this shit was like so infuriating. Oh, you could just do that while he's fucking sucking? I didn't know that. I thought you had to wait until he was done. Okay, 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 okay. Wait a minute. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Wow, did I really not- Did I really not get electrocuted there? I had no idea that you could do that. I did not- I just did not realize that that was a thing. I think this is gonna be much easier now. I didn't know you could do that, man. I legitimately thought you had to wait until he was done sucking. I didn't realize you could just do it while he's sucking. Give me that, give me that, give me that, please. What? No way! There's no way, dude! I must have just not been within, like, the line of sucking or whatever. I'm definitely grinding for this health, though. You see, like, there's no way to get that timing down. Like, it has to be, like, while he's sucking, like... And you just have to be close, I don't know. Come on, fucks. Yes! So you can do it while he's sucking. Okay, that's- that's phenomenal, man. We got this! We got this by the ass! I didn't fucking know that. I didn't know that was something that could happen. I thought you had to do it when he stopped sucking. But now that I know that you could do it while he's sucking, nothing matters. Oh no! Alright, this one's hard. Only one left. Run, Kazooie. Well, at least my health isn't like in the top left corner, so I must not be on the lowest health possible. Damn, this is like really one of the harder platformers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry. Like, anybody that wants to argue with me and say that Banjo Kazooie is better, like, suck my fucking dick. Alright, like. The, can you do this in Banjo Kazooie? Yeah, see, there's like, you have to do it while he's sucking. You just have to time it right. Like, this is honestly like pretty challenging. This last one. 
Sorry to be so hostile and aggressive in my love for Banjo-Tooie, but it's like, I don't think there is a game that, you know, like, I can say, like, still makes me feel like, you know, a kid when I was playing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I have no emotional connection to Banjo-Kazooie, really. Like, the, the characters, yes, but, like, if anything, dare I say, I feel as though... I have more memories of Nuts and Bolts than I do of the first game. As a matter of fact, doing that Let's Play, I think, was the first time I've ever even completed that game. Like, I've seen it so many times, I've watched my sibling play it, but it's like... I don't think I've ever in my life, like, completed that game before. Like, I've completed Banjo-Tooie so many times, like... You know, it's literally my favorite game. I got him, you bitch, you fucking asshole! No, yeah, but Banjo-Tooie is my favorite game. Or not even my favorite game, it's just, like, it's a game that I remember playing so much as a kid, so that's why I like it, and that's probably why people like Banjo-Kazooie, and that's why they don't like Banjo-Tooie, but it's just, like, basically, like, you know, the memories I have, or that people have of Banjo-Kazooie is, like, what I have of Banjo-Tooie. Which is pretty hilarious. But... I also just like how much more is going on in this game versus Banjo-Kazooie, it's like... Like, Banjo-Kazooie is cool, like, I would play it again, you know, like, it is fun. I don't hate the game, but it's like, if I were to compare it to this, like... I wouldn't even say it's in the fucking same stratosphere. Oh, that's too bad, now where's a prize? I guess I can let you have this. Yo, so, um... I don't eat 7-Eleven food anymore. Like, I got food poisoning after eating the 10 wings. Like, I just thought that would be a convenient meal. And then I went really drunk to 7-Eleven again. I was gonna get a cheeseburger. But then the guy was like, Oh, this isn't good anymore. <laughs> but it's like, why the fuck do you keep it heated in your fucking heat lamp then if it's not good? Imagine you can go through this door. I always imagined stuff like that when I was a kid. Oh, that's sick. I'm like, is that what he was talking about? Damn, they really just trap you down here, huh? Like, you can't even- like, you have to fight this fucking thing, holy shit. And they even have to make you get the jiggy. See, the problem is that a lot of people have problems with this game when you compare it to Banjo-Kazooie. You know, they're just like, oh, this is too hard, or blah, 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 like, uh, you know, like, uh, so and so and so and so. But it's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, that's the whole point of the game, you know, is to be more interesting and more dynamic than fucking Banjo-Tooie. Like, uh, I mean, a uh, Banjo-Kazooie, you know, I'm sorry. Like, it's just how I feel. So why can you walk on this? I, like, saw this and I'm just like, what's the deal? Like, you can't even, can't even get up here. So yeah, that was just a Cheeto page. I got eight Cheeto pages. I actually want to check the totals real quick. I can't believe- <laughs> can't believe I got two out of three fucking Cheeto pages. Like, I don't even care about the Cheetos. Like, I am not- this is not a hundred percent run. This is some fucking douchebag with a capture card who's just like, Hey, I want to play Banjo-Tooie, but more importantly, I want to record myself playing Banjo-Tooie. That's what this is. Um... But yeah, I mean, I felt proud that I got the N64 working again, and like, I'm definitely, like, if I play Conquer, I'm more than likely going to do it on my N64 again. But like, I gotta move this downstairs just because I need to make room for like, my shit. And like, look at this level design, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, the really big stuff, like, kind of works in this game. Like, it, I don't actually like how Rareware does this. You know, and has, like, these giant-ass rooms, like... I honestly don't like it, really, but I feel like in Banjo-Tooie it kind of works. Where am I going right now? What the fuck? You could just go back this way? Wasn't there another door, though? That was a long trek, wasn't it? 
Yeah, what the fuck? That was a long trek. But what does that say over there? I was kind of interested. Uh, waste disposal plant. Oh, this is- Oh, get out of there! Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're Oh, okay. It just kind of gets you out of there, right. So we have now accomplished everything that we can do possibly in this game. Uh, we've gotten three honeycomb pieces, two out of three Cheeto pages because I don't give a shit about the Cheetos. We didn't get all 100 notes, but I don't give a shit about that either, personally. Uh, I'm pretty sure the rest of the notes might be underwater or something, but basically there's the other jiggy we got. And then there's another jiggy that requires the sack pack uh, that will basically complete all 10 jiggies in this level. But as of the moment, there's nothing we can do, so let us move on to the next level. I don't- I'm not even sure what the next level is. Like I said, I have not played this game in a fucking month. Like, literally since February. Uh, so, you know, bear with me as we- uh, that's not a pun. Bear with me. Banjo's a fucking bear. Ha ha. Well, bird with me. Ha <laughs> ha. Bear with me as we go through this bird emic. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being, like, mad annoying. I got two cups of coffee and I have not been, you know, smoking hella weed. So I'm just like... I guess I'm just more into this than usual. <laughs> like, is this how other Let's Players feel? My god. I can't imagine not smoking weed and doing this, but then, uh, you know, I can't imagine it because I'm legitimately doing it, so. Alright, enough about weed. Let's get the hell out of here. You know, we're done with this level. So why don't we head back to, uh, what the fuck's his name? You know, the great Jiggy Overlord of so-and-so Master Chief, and then we'll, I don't know, we'll just move on, I guess. Didn't I open how far it peaks? I should just do like a quick wiki search, you know, because I'm, I'm trying to do all this stuff in order, I mean. Well, we're not doing Cloud Coco Land, but we have yet, we have yet to do how far it peaks. Did I open how far it peaks? Yeah, I did. Fifty-eight jiggies. I mean, what else can you do? You know, like. Oh my god. All right. So, excuse me a moment, as uh, I need to catch up on what we're gonna be doing in this playthrough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the recording for a second as I figure this out. Okay, and we're back. I think I know what I have to do now. <laughs> It's like, for you, it's just like, oh, okay, great. But for me, it's like, yep, I have to figure this shit out. Two years. Finally, I've made it to the warmth of Lava World with a belly full of water. Oh, you gotta love that connection to Banjo-Kazooie. Something I never understood when I played the game, because I didn't realize the purpose that Golby served, but it's awesome to see him back again after we had last seen him. Uh, you'll notice that this cutscene is, you know, reflectory of where the train will be, so a lot of this stuff I remember, it's just I need, like, a basic guide. I also always loved how this level had the fucking split-up pads right here. God, I kind of want Kazooie to just be normal again, but the unlimited fire eggs is pretty clutch, I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. So there's the tent where that guy sleeps. Like, I love this level so much. Like, it reminds me so much of my childhood because I used to just dig around in here so much. I used to want it to be the old man who, like, slept in the tent and stuff, you know? Hey! I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano! I'm going to burn your ass. What do you need with money, you stupid dinosaur lizard fuck? You just live in a pit of lava. You honestly think you need my shit? Oh, this is the Coliseum kickball tournament? Oh, 
oh, you know, this this makes a lot of sense because I was just reading about this, uh, and this is what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to turn into fucking stony. Okay. So supposedly there's a crack in the wall that's going to take us to Mayahem Temple, and and this can just be the first jiggy we do since it's like right here. Um, and this can actually take you around, like, everywhere in the map, and in the level. God, this whole place is literally fuck fucking demolished. Alright, and here we are back in Mayan Kickball Stadium. I don't even think I remember seeing that when we were in here. I don't think I ever actually turned to the right and, and tried to perceive it. Uh, but this is also another problem that people had with Banjo-Tooie is that they didn't like the excessive backtracking that was involved in the game. Well, what I have to say to that is fuck you. I mean, what did you expect from a game that was literally released in 2000 and more than likely been in development since 1997? You want a fucking DLC? The only problem I have with the whole Banjo-Kazooie series at large is why the fuck don't they have a compass? <laughs> I feel like that just would have helped so much because I just never know where the hell I'm going ever in this game. And I would just... I would just like a compass, you know? I feel like that would just fix so many problems that I've had with it. Okay, so you're gonna ask yourself, why why do we backtrack here? What's going on? Well, it's a Mayan kickball tournament, and uh, Wumba's not gonna turn us into a fucking uh, Mayan kickball legend, so we have to do it in this level to go back to the other level. It's a goal that seems stupid and inconsistent, but it's like, honestly, maybe we're just too used to throwaway culture. Maybe we're too used to doing a level and then moving on to the next thing and never thinking about it. I mean, why wouldn't you want to hang out in here again? Wasn't it cool when you first saw it? Wasn't the music fucking bumping? You know what I'm saying? It's not- It's not like you had iTunes! Or, I mean... You know, it was 2000s, like, I don't know if you had iTunes or not, but... I'm just saying, you know, it's like YouTube was not invented yet. You couldn't listen to that music unless if you were playing the damn level. So I'm just saying, like, I feel as though... Like, the whole backtracking is really slept on. Because it's just like, why fucking not? Why not go back to the level that was fucking awesome? Welcome to the Coliseum Professional Kickball Championships! We like to do things a little differently here. The lowest score always wins. We're just about to begin the quarterfinals. So talking to this dumb piece of shit will, um... Open up pretty much everything. Uh, so lowest score wins, let's get to it. Oh, this is fun. I'm glad we're in Hellfire Peaks now. I was getting really tired of Grunty Industries. <coughs> like, I hate that sh I hate that level so much. I'm actually really happy that, like... I'm just happy, like, you know, that this is like a... <laughs> that the best levels are saved for last. Holy shit. Ew, you gotta stop, bro. Alright, I won, I won, I won. Alright, this was actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Like when they said lowest score wins, I'm like, oh, perfect, I just don't have to score. But then when I saw them getting in at other people's nets, I'm just like, oh crap, this is how it is? Like, I'm not enjoying this at all. Oh, okay, so, sorry about that, I just, I have to clean my glasses, you know, because this is the life I live. Get out, get out, get out, run, 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 run. 
Oh, it just sucks to wear glasses, bro. I really should wear my contacts more. Damn. I can't believe this is how this fucking works. We start off with like a high ass score. I won! I won! Holy shit. This is really hard, man. <laughs> but... Taking care of this will be one jiggy down. And that's terrific progress, because like I said, I don't actually think I've ever professionally beaten this level before. Like, I literally just dick around. Like, when I was a kid, I just dicked around, I had an imagination, I just had fun. I imagined myself in the world, I imagined myself wanting to be like the characters in the game. It was awesome. Honestly, I feel like that's why I do Let's Plays now, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just like... Oh, you know, it's like, it's just a comfort thing. It's a lot of fun to just revisit these games. I mean, it sucks that, like, I'm kind of just, like, doing the objective. Like, it'll never be like when I was a kid, you know? And, like, just the sheer fun I had, like, playing this game and having an imagination, dude. Like... Oh my god! No! No! Fuck! I did a good job, damn it! Yes, I would love to re fucking try. Uh. No, fuck, I just missed it. The real strategy here is hold on to the fucking ball. Yo, stop. Stop helping me, dude. Oh my. Dude, how does he have zero? I legitimately have the highest fucking score. Bro, how does he have zero? What? Holy shit. <coughs> Don't know why I didn't just cover the mic there or some shit. This is some serious fucking shit, dude. Oh, I totally missed them, like, almost completely. Hell yeah, I only got two! Oh, I declare you the new Coliseum Kickball Champion. Do we get a trophy? Of course! Excellent, thank you. Wow, that is fantastic fucking progress, I tell you. Oh no! No, I tell you, like, as a kid, I don't think I ever would have, like, figured this out. 
So this is a lot of fun for me, you know, like, just revisiting games from my childhood that, like, I basically spent a majority of time just, like, Oh, right, I have to turn back into Banjo-Kazooie. I'm, like, running around. I'm like, okay, what do I do next? But, but yeah, just, like, revisiting games from my childhood that, like, you know, I just kind of had fun in. Like, I didn't really take too seriously or whatever. But then actually going back and playing it and seeing what the game was actually about, it's, like, a lot of fun. Because, like, Conker's Bad Fur Day is a game I played when I was an adult, you know? Like, literally, when COVID happened, I was playing that game, you know? I was working security. I was in the headquarters of where I was working, and I would literally spend, like, eight hours playing that fucking game because I didn't have a controller. On the same Macintosh I, I used to make music, mind you, like, this 2011 Macintosh I had... I played Congress Bad Fur Day and I kept falling because I didn't have a controller. I was just using the keyboard and uh, I was just using the keyboard. And that shit was fucking abysmal. Like, I can't believe I have played that game. I can't believe I've played that game in three different ways. Now that I think about it, I played the entire game. I played Conquer with a keyboard. I played Conquer with a GameCube controller, and then I played it again off of my Nintendo 64 when I actually got the Nintendo 64. Holy shit, dude. I actually can't believe I've played that game three times with three different control mechanics. That's actually crazy. Like, like I'm genuinely someone who, who like, is a fan of that game and, like, knows that game pretty well. That's just crazy to think, actually. Oh, shit. Like, I remember watching Nintendo Capri Sun just play that fucking game, and then, like, thinking to myself, like, oh man, like, I would love to own that game one day or something. And then, like, I've played it three times. Like, on three different control mechanics. Oh, hey, is that the- what is that? Is that the train switch? Oh, no. Takes us to that... that uh, I almost said Jiggy. Jinjo? I actually forgot what it was even called anymore. I'm so sorry. I'm probably get, gonna get a lot of shit for that. <laughs> it's like, fuck all this fanboy shit and, like, starting arguments when, when it's like, we don't need this shit, you know? Like, I don't need this stress in my life just because I didn't get fucking Banjo's, like, name right or whatever. Where are the split-up pads? That's there. Aren't the split-up pads here? Am I hallucinating right now? I- th I thought I just saw the split-up pads. I might- I might have to just come back, um, and, and do it in the middle of the map, I think. Because there's another Jiggy. If you notice, there was actually a chain hanging down. That's where another Jiggy is. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, but those platforms, I guess, are over there. And there's, like, something over here. Like, what the hell is this, huh? Oh, that's the Jiggy, I see. Okay, so that's the Jiggy that we're gonna be needing. Or that that's the other Jiggy that we're gonna be grabbing, which... I'm loving this progress right now. I mean, we, we already got, basically, two Jiggies under wrap. And shit's just moving really smooth, you know? Like, this has been, like, honestly, a really enjoyable Let's Play. Now, now I know why they have this, like, little Copacabana thing here, because it's like, oh, like, when... When the monster shoots fire, it's like... Uh, you know, it's like, it's so you can protect yourself. And, like, you know, you don't have to get messed up when you're just trying to switch a character. So you have to come in as Banjo alone, by the way, to do this, because you're going to be needing Kazooie a little bit later. But I want to take that thing up and see what that is. I actually don't know what that does, but I know this is something we have to do. What the F? Oh my god.
I just died. Like, I wasn't expecting that. And now it's time for the quiet moment in which I say nothing. Dude, I am so bloated right now, like... It's honestly fucking ridiculous, like... I ate way too much food yesterday. Like, I had some Chipotle with some extra chicken, extra rice, and then I took a fat nap, and then I woke up and I had chicken... ...that, uh, my dad cooked... ...uh, and like, some leftover lobster mac... ...and cheese, like, I... I was just done. Are you serious? Oh, there's the, uh... It's right there. The split-up pads? Wait, how do we- how do we get help there? These fucking things are just gonna keep killing me. I think I need Kazooie to get in here. Wow, this is so cool. I love this game. Oh, okay, so this is where the platforms are. Oh, okay. Uh, I've been so broke I was off last month because my sister got married and I don't have- and I got food poisoning my hand. I said, my bro man, my hand. I'm dying here, I really need some money or I am going to fucking keel over. Do da do da do da I need- I need Kazooie to come in here right now because I need to destroy these things. These things that are bugging me out. I said we need Kazooie to fucking kill them out. Uh. We need Kazooie. Not Blue's Cluey. Not Blue's Cluesy. Uh. I said you got a loogie hanging from your nose. Uh. Oh! Kazoo! Yeah, destroy that fucking thing, man. That thing was seriously starting to piss me off. Destroy that one, too. Yeah, fuck you. I don't think there's anything else. Alright, you're good to, uh, you're good to climb, Banjo. Oh, thanks, Kazooie. Oh, I really appreciate it. No, don't tell me they respawned. They actually fucking respawned. Wait, what? Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> this is actually... <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? That was starting to bug me out a bit. I'm just like, what the hell? I'm like, I see this little ledge here, I'm just like, can I grab this? I thought it would have been slightly more obvious than that. That's a little, like, mm, that's a little cheap. Am I supposed to grab that ledge now? Oh my god. Uh, there's a banjo switch. Uh, and that looks like a Kazooie switch. That would make sense, then, why the boots are here. Because I thought that was for something else entirely, but it seems like that's what we have to do right now. We have to get Kazooie up there as well. And since Kazooie can't climb, Kazooie can only use boots. Where are the boots? That's what I'm saying, man. A compass would be fucking beautiful. Because I have no idea where I'm going at the moment. Maybe the boots are down here. Well, there's there's the Jinjo. There's Maya Hem Temple. Oh, okay, here are the boots. Nice. Excellent. 
That is fucking sick. What? All this for a stupid Cheeto fucking page? God damn it. I'm like, where is it? It's right there. I could probably just glide to it. Tut! What a baller Kazooie is, huh? Okay, there's Kazooie. But are we not not supposed to go up there or something? Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is what we have to do. Uh, okay, so I see that switch over there. Maybe, or not switch. I see that entrance over there. I think I'm just uh, gonna go over there instead. I did not realize that that was all for some stupid Cheeto page. I thought that was gonna take us to the fucking thing that we had to go to. Wait, so where the hell am I? Oh my god. That frame rate, that frame rate really messed me up. Oh, I see. You can't even get through there with the waterfall. Alright, I think I'm just gonna die. Oh man, we have to do this again? Shit. Um How deep are we into this? 42 minutes. All right, I'm going to have to call this. I'm not I'm not going to be running around trying to figure this out in the moment. So, thank you so much for watching. We will continue how far peaks in the next episode. Goodbye.